Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at the last couple months of trading in my account so that I can use my past trades to project how much money I expect to make over the coming months and over the coming year. Hey everyone, welcome back to Drawbridge Finance. My name is Levi Woods. As you guys know, this is an opinion channel about money. I'm not offering financial advice in any way. And I get quite asked all the time about what my expected return is or what my past yearly performance is, all sorts of questions regarding return on investment. We did that video last week and we talked about how crazy the potential returns are with options and how I like to manage early so that I can smooth out my yield curve and I can create this kind of ongoing income that is really, really smooth. That's what I want. I, I am not a high risk investor. I want to make decent returns every month and I want to reduce my risk as much, much as possible. And I, I'm not a day trader. I don't want to be stuck at my computer all day trying to put in trades and trying to like time the market. I just want everything to work smoothly. So today we're going to be reviewing my past hundred trades. We're going to look at two months. We're going to look at August and September and see the kind of typical returns. And then we're going to take an average of that. And I've built a little spreadsheet that allows you guys to do the same to your account so that you can take your transactions, input the data in a really simple manner, and then you can see what your average return was, what the percentage was, and then we can kind of do a forward projection and say, what amount of money are we gonna have in our account if we continue this forward? So it's pretty exciting and I'm excited to get into it. So first off, I just wanna take a look at this data and this was from last week and we talked about why I close early and you can see down in the bottom, the simple annualized return on investment is 224%, and the compounding annual return would be 789%. Now these are astronomical numbers. The chart just goes up and up and up. And today we're gonna to be looking at it with a lot more transactions. So we're actually gonna take a look and see how much money this type of trading can generate. I built this little spreadsheet, and as always, I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. The instructions are very, very simple. Just enter in the white cells only. So anything that's in a colored cell is gonna be automatically populating. If we take a look, I've already got this one filled out, but these would be blank if you opened it up. And what I've done is I've actually put in transactions from August 1st going all the way down to September 30th. I, this is about 100 transactions or so, so 104 cells. Yeah, so 101 transactions. Now, one of the nice things about doing it this way is that when we look at an average over a lot of different transactions, it smooths out the highs and lows and it, it takes away some of our huge winners and it takes away some of our losers. You'll also note that if we scroll down here, I don't lose very often. The type of strategy that I employ is very, very safe in a way that it has a very high expected uh, probability of profit. And I often don't take huge amounts of money for that, but I win often and I try to keep the ri risk reduced. So from the past 101 trades, there's been six losers. So that's pretty good. That's like a 96% win rate. Uh, and that's kind of typical of this style of trading. Later in the chart, you'll see the calculation can figure out if you've got uh, the dates out of order or not, and it doesn't really matter what order you put them in. You can do this on any sort of time frame, but you should have your start date and end date in there for the calculations later. So, so the margin requirement, and what this is, is how much money that I would actually require to trade this particular trade in my account. I haven't included any details of these trades. These are just the transactional information. So this trade to put on a single contract, uh, the margin requirement was uh, $1,400. And at that time when I placed that trade, we had a projected days in trade of 42 days. Now this chart only works with credit spreads and it's important to note that because we don't want to get in situations where we're trying to use it to uh, calculate debit spreads. It just doesn't function properly. When we're entering into a credit spread, we can calculate how much per day we're going to make. And this is the type of transaction that this chart is good at. So I have removed any of the transactions that I had, which were debit spreads to start, and I very rarely do those, so it didn't, it doesn't really affect the data all that much. If we look at something like SPG, what we're looking at is we've got this margin requirement, and then the projected number of days in trade, and then the premium received minus the fee, so this 229. So if we look over here, those are the three figures, that's where I get that information. And what's that, what that's gonna do is it's then gonna calculate out. It's gonna say that if you can make $166 in 42 days, it's gonna work out to $3.96 per day. And then the projected return on margin is gonna be $166 divided by the original margin amount, which is, gives us a return on margin. 
And then what it does is it takes the compounded return and says, what if we made 11% every 42 days? How much of money did we make at the end of the year? So we're making 161%. And this is where these numbers can get quite large. Now you'll notice that some trades I, I place that have very, very large compounding returns. And oftentimes we're expecting that we're gonna take those off in a very short time frame. So that's where this column comes in and that's where we've actually closed the trades. And what I'm entering is how long was I actually in the trade and how much money did I make? So in this particular trade, if I had held to expiration, I would have held it for 42 days to make a realized gain of $166. In reality, I closed it after only six days, making $85. And you can see why I would do this. We went over this in the last video. You know, the expected daily profit was $3.96 and what I actually made was $14.28. So I take off the trade and then I put on a new one and I just rinse and repeat that way. Because annualized, instead of making 161%, I would have made 3,400%. And these numbers get way out of whack, especially when you hold a transaction for only a single day. Maybe we're playing earnings on this, and that creates this massively large compounding return. I'm gonna show you how to kind of get rid of that because it does skew the data slightly. And what it does is it then takes an average and it's going to show typical amount of margin that I put on. Depending on how large an account is, you can put on as big a trades as your, your account can handle. What this data is from is from a single contract of my trades in my account that I post on Patreon. So if you guys are interested in that, I've been posting my trades for three and a half years. You, it is a paid membership and you can see all of the trades that I'm making on the day that they happen. In some of these cases, the, the margin requirement is quite low. You can see this is like $500. And then in other cases, I'm like $10,000. So this chart allows this to calculate out and get the average per trade. So around $2,500 in margin requirement. And the projected number of average days in the trade is gonna be 31. So on average, I expect I'm gonna hold a trade for around 31 days if I held to expiration, which I never do and the projected return is gonna be around 250 bucks. That's right, $250 per $2,500 investment. These are massive returns. Now you have to keep in mind that this is the absolute 100% win rate. We're never gonna achieve that, we can't. Now some of the trades are gonna perform better than others and some are gonna perform worse and some are gonna actually be losers. So what I wanna know is if I can project forward and actually get a win rate that's high enough and what our actual daily profit or loss is going to be. If I'm projecting $249, what am I actually getting once we count all our losers? The projected, according to this chart, is $7.96, which means every 31 days we'll be making approximately a 9.9% return. And compounding, again, return on margin, this is 200%. So now nobody ever uses their full margin in an account. You know, typically people trade only up to like 50% margin. So you can see automatically if you're trading options only that even in a 100% win rate, your return on margin in an extremely good environment is going to be about 100% return annually, which is massive. And I think that that's an unrealistic expectation for people. Now there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are showing these ridiculous gains and showing how buying options can give you these massive returns for very little risk. And it's just not a style of trading that's for me. It's not the type of return or risk reward rate ratio that I'm looking for. I wanna make consistent returns so that I can live off of these accounts that I've created so that I can maintain my retirement without actually you know, working and sitting at a computer 40 hours a week trying to trade like a crazy person. We're gonna look at this side, which is the realized profit and loss. So if we had held to expiration 31 days, and the reality is in two months of trading, my average hold was around 18.2 days. You can see that I'm in these trades for a relatively long time, and that's how they make their money. The, as I'm holding them every single day, they're generating income. It means that I don't have to make a huge amount of transactions. A total of 100 trades in two months is not that many. Now we look at the total realized profit. Now I expected that I was gonna make $249 in 31 days, and what I actually made was $141 in every 18 days. So the, the realized daily P&L was actually $7.79, and we were projecting $7.96. This was with 100% win rate, 
This is with our 96% win rate. So it's amazing that I'm able to project and actually achieve as close as this. But that is why I manage early and why I'm very specific about putting on the trades that I do. So my return is only 5.63% compared to the 9.9% if I held to expiration. But you can see that when you use that number and compare it to the 18 days, 5.63% every 18 days generates an nearly identical return of 200%. So again, this is on margin, have to keep that in mind. When you populate out the spreadsheet, you can just see which ones, you can see the trades that were losers, how much money that you you lost. Like this one actually lost $84 per day for three days in a row. It's absolutely amazing that the 100% win rate is generating 201% and by closing early, managing my trades, I'm achieving 200.7%. And that's what I wanna do is be able to analyze this data to see if I'm doing the right thing, if I'm doing the right sort of trading so that I can see if I'm on, a tr on track. So now the next part of this is kind of the summary portion of it. This is where we can put in the uh, actual account value and then the amount of margin being used because some people utilize very little of their margin uh, for, for safety reasons, obviously. Now, my posting postings typically use around uh, $100,000 worth of margin, US dollars. So this would be pretty uh, accurate reflection of a single contract in each of these transactions that you're seeing on the left-hand side a couple of different ways to compare it so we can see the annualized return. So the total account realized profit and loss uh, is $14,000 in this case. So what that is, is it's a sum of all of the realized profit and loss. And then it's calculating uh, the, the trading range. So if the dates have been input, it will calculate how many days. So in this case, there was 60 days from August 1st to September 30th. And then what that does is it takes the total return of $14,000 divides it by 60 and we get this daily average profit of $238, which is pretty great. Now people have asked me before and I've always said that this type of passive option trading uh, can generate between 2 and 3% monthly. So this is exactly right on track, this 6.2% in two months or 60 days. And so then the realized total 30-day uh, profit was $7,000 a month or around 3.1% per month. So if we continued this performance, how much would we actually make? So this account can return $86,000 if these transactions were just continually repeated without compounding at all, resulting in a return of around 37.8% per year. Now, if we compound those monthly, then we would actually be able to generate more. If we were consistent with this, this account would grow by $102,000 or 44% return on total account value, is not return on margin. And so that means that if an account today had a balance of 230, then non-compounding would be able to get to 316,000. And if it was compounding, 332,000 in 365 days. So the same percentage return here. That's one way of looking at the data. That's looking at it on a daily basis, total returns over the time period. What if we look at it from a return on margin perspective and say, okay, if we're averaging $2,500 margin per a trade, and we're typically staying in this for 18.2 days, and each trade is making $141, then the realized daily profit is 779 and our realized return on margin is 5.63% every 18 days. How much does that work out to at the end of the year? And that is a substantially bigger number. So the projected annual profit uh, loss return on margin non-compounding would be the profits only 113,000 for the year or 113%. Projected annual profit loss would be 200,000 if we uh, compounded this money or 200% return. And you can see how this 200.7 is reflected up here in the 200.7. Those are the same number. So that's return on margin. I don't usually like to calculate that way to project my account balances. So I would rather look at it as an account total, You're actually returning 49% on a $230,000 account the account total would go from 230 to 243. So this kind of gives you two different ways of estimating out and, and your returns are probably going to fall somewhere in between these numbers. I think that this top portion is a much more accurate way to re reflect 
uh, the possible outcome of an account trading like this. So that 37.8% is a smashing return. And I don't know anybody that would be upset with getting that type of return. I'll just quickly show you uh, these same numbers if we take out all these single day trades because they can skew the numbers quite a bit. If, uh, if you look at this, like this actual annual compounded return, we held this trade for only one day. It was probably an earnings trade and it can skew those numbers. And so this drops the realized profit loss down to 168%. It also uh, dropped it here. So you can see that even with those single day trades removed, we were able to achieve very, very close to the projection. So $6.51 per day projected and realizing $6.32 uh, projecting 171 compared to projecting 168. So this is quite versatile and it allows us to, sh to kind of shuffle around like how much margin we're using and how much risk we're taking on because there might be times in your own life where you want to take on less risk or more risk depending on how much you want to be at your computer. I hope this video has been informative to you guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button down below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't, because I like to make informative videos to help us get rich together. That's the goal. Let's make some money. Talk to you guys soon.